Hey everybody, I wanted to do a video today showing some products that were sent over to me by GearBest. They're all from the Fury B line and um, they sent me a few things which will kind of go together as a as a project. I have, I have something in mind that I want to try to do with these products. So um, these are Fury B. First one, we have a circular polarized antenna, mushroom style, 5.8. Pretty standard fare, but uh, the cool thing about these is the cost. Uh, right now, three dollars eighty-eight cents on GearBest.com. Um, I'll have a link to these products. Everything that I'm going to show you real quick here today uh, in the description. They come in SMA and RP SMA. This one, as you see, is RP SMA. Um, nice, stiff, stiff wire. Sometimes you know you get those those real floppy ones. Um, feels good, feels solid. You know, should do the job. This is uh, this is men uh, mentioned that it's right hand circularly polarized. Uh, it claims to be a 5 dBi uh, gain antenna. And uh, for comparison's sake, here's that another another style that uh, we typically see. So approximately the same same size there. So again, that's the uh, Fury B FO2 right hand circularly polarized mushroom antenna for 5.8 BTX or BRX, you know, receiver, transmitter, either way. I apologize for the noise, my cat is trying to get in at the door. Uh, second thing they sent me is also a Fury B product. Comes in this nice little box because it's little. And this will be the FO3 32 channel all in one camera transmitter there it is super tiny let's get in on that wow real small so this is a 32 channel all-in-one transmitter and camera it does not come with any connector already on there so this one is made for, definitely made for uh, putting in how you need it to be done. Um, so this is going on, you know, I'm going to go ahead and spoil it. Probably figured it out already. I have one of these uh, tiny whoop clones. So we're going to, we're going to make one of those with this uh, and the antenna. So this, this, is, this is coming at a perfect time. Those are super super popular right now so you can see you're going to change your channels through use of disk switches pull that off of there Enter your lens so it's a right hand circularly polarized antenna it says it has a 3 dBi gain antenna on here it's a 25 milliwatt transmitter and the camera specs uh, it says it's a 520 TV line camera the field of view on it with this lens is about 120 degrees uh, you know I, I don't know whether that's uh, a 2.1, 2.35 whatever um, 4.8 grams is the listed weight and the power that it will run from uh, anywhere from 2.9 to 5.5 so a kind of tight range there but then again it's very common uh, let's go ahead and put a scale down here and see what we're doing for the weight weight is listed at 4.8 grams online and my scale says 5 so some of that um, power lead may come off of there when I hack up the Tiny Whip clone and uh, put this on there. Let's see close up details. Nothing else included in the box, no paperwork or anything. Although I suspect if we go online, we can find the. Uh, channel assignments you know which dip switches to uh, to put where 
So again, this is the FO3, 5.8 giga gigahertz, um, 25 milliwatt, all-in-one, 32 channel camera transmitter. As of today, it's 21.93 on GearBest. So, you know, these are uh, extremely well priced. The previous antenna and this guy here, extremely well priced. And finally, we have the VR1. 4.3 inch, 5.8 gigahertz, 40 channel race band HD goggles. And from the picture, you can see it's uh, looks like it's doing diversity here. We have a patch antenna and a circularly polarized antenna. Does come with the channel listings on the back. It says it does race band. Open this guy up. See what how it comes. Right. Starts off with a little information sheet. Pause that video if you want to read this stuff. Another channel channel assignments there. And then the back. Oh, okay, here's how you operate it. Auto searching on the channels. How to use. And general information. Does not come with the battery, but any 2 to 3S battery will work fine for you there. Um, yeah, it's got a JST connector. So, yeah, smaller capacity 2 and 3S cells that usually come with a J JST. What do you get in the box? So, we'll pull out the, pull out the unit first. It's not very big. Um, I have a uh, Quantum version 2 the uh, styrofoam one with the neoprene sleeve and it's bigger than this uh, this is this is a nice size here um, oh, it's got some stuff inside look at that in a minute alright so it's got a three-way head strap adjustable on the top and the, and the sides that's cool you can see it has a lens in there Fre Fresnel, Fresnel, however you want to say it um, it is not adjustable though. There's no way to uh, move that in and out for a zoom. Uh, it's got some soft foamy padding on there, cloth covered. And you can see it does have quite a large cutout for the nose. So if anybody's got a real big nose, that's how it'll work out. Uh, you got your buttons on top. Not sure what the perforated part is. If that, that's, I'm sure it's not a speaker. Uh, you got a plug in for your voltage input, or no, sorry, video in for uh, alternate source. You got a button here to switch your sources, M source, probably also the menu or the mode. Um, your power in, DC there. Uh, probably a manual channel button, it says channel there. And this one saying S is probably a scan function. Uh, you can see it's SMA connectors, sorry, R yeah, RP, well, I thought these were the, oh, it's the female side, yeah, so this is RP SMA on the unit, and the antennas then are going to be SMA style, no, looks like RP SMA, I might have this wrong, but I thought the antennas without the uh, pin were RP SMA. So here's one antenna right here. Circularly polarized, feels uh, extremely similar to the one we just looked at, although this one is black. Um, and again, there's your there's your connector in there. It's 
So it does not have the pin, it has the socket on this one. So um, I may be incorrect, but I thought that was RP SMA male for not having the pin. So uh, one mushroom style. And in this other bag over here, kind of a little uh, nylon or vinyl uh, Ziploc bag, sort of. It also comes with a patch. Okay, so this I guess would be your front side. You want to face that out towards the direction you're flying. Um, also, connecting is the same. RP SM. Uh, I'm not even going to say it because I'm probably saying the wrong type. But you can see it does not have the pin. Come on, focus. Focus. There you go. No pin on the antenna. The pin is on the goggles. Okay, so you got the two of those. So patch antenna projects out more focused uh, area. And then this would be kind of all around coverage, just not going as far. That's pretty cool. And then just a little bit of wires comes with it. Looks like two wires here. Yeah, nothing else in the tray there. Two wires. So here is a RCA to Mini. This is probably your uh, alternate video source if you want to use these for, uh, I don't know, hooking up uh, other uh, transmitter. I'm sorry, other uh, video receiver or some other source of video, you could use this as your own personal uh, VR. And then here's your power connector. So you got your little DC jack and that JST to go in your battery pack. Does not come with the battery. You gotta supply that yourself. Um, but it's only $45.99. So, you know, it uh, seems like a pretty good deal as far as these goggles go. Again, it's, it's real small, but it's also very light. I don't feel like this is going to be hanging off the front of your face, um, causing any trauma to your nose. Uh, again, it's kind of a deep nose cut out here, but if, if it's too deep, you could always put some foam padding on here. Uh, again, the specs on this one, it's got a 4.3 inch screen. It's a 480 by 272 resolution. It does do NTSC and PAL at a 16 by 9 aspect. 40 channel receivers. Okay, so um, I guess you know, there are some screw holes here, so we could take it apart and see what's going on inside. Maybe I'll do that in another video. Um, but it is a 40 channel capable receiver or maybe there's dual receivers in here um, takes again 7 to 23 volts DC so that's quite a wide range but uh, you're, unless you make up your own power jumper you're kind of limited um, with this JST a, a 3 cell with a JST you'd be fine you know nice long nice long usage so again this is the Fury B VR01 the FPV goggles we got the FO3 mini camera transmitter, and we had the F2, sorry, FO2 antennas from Fury B. I'll have links to all this stuff in the description here, uh, and these are going to get put into use real quickly here to make a little tiny whoop clone and um, fly that around the house. So stay tuned for a video on that. Um, I'm looking forward to chopping that thing up and putting this stuff on it. Should be fun. Alright, I appreciate you watching. Thanks and uh, tune in soon for another video.